Right here, right here. Going this way. Thank you. In it to win it. Yes, sir. I'm not running to come in second. That's not in America's DNA, and it's not in my DNA to run to come in second. But you're right. I've announced today I am running for the presidency, and first I got to get the Republican nomination, and we kicked it off officially today. Now we should say that you were very critical of President Obama, critical of his leadership, critical yes. of his position toward Israel, which I'll ask you about in a second. But much of your criticism while not particularly overt, kind of hidden, was about the fact that he uses a teleprompter all the time. He said, is America ready for a leader or a reader? And you said, we need a real energy plan, not one read from a teleprompter. Yes, and first of all, the president doesn't have an energy plan. He just last week started talking about developing an energy plan. What has he been doing for two years and three months? That's my point. So now he believes that if he says the words, that people are going to think that we have a real energy independence plan. And we don't. And yes, it was highlighting the fact that once you get that teleprompter away from the president, and people start asking him difficult questions, he stumbles, quite frankly, which says that maybe he doesn't know the issues deep enough. I have studied these issues deep. This is why you saw me not using a teleprompter for my announcement speech today. Yeah, I've been yeah. talking about these yeah. for over three, three, four years. It was very impressive. You, you ad libbed a 25 minute speech this afternoon. <laughs> didn't miss a signature line. Ad libbed? <laughs> Thanks, John. Uh, we ad libbed or lived. I, I don't but know see, here's the other. Here's the other thing. Because over the last several months, I've done a lot of speaking around the country, not just the primary states like Iowa, New Hampshire, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, Texas, but all over the. country. Country. And so I've had an opportunity to not only talk and speak, but to listen to people. And a lot of these 
uh, concept that I call common sense solutions. I got them by listening to people. And certainly they're, they're seeing a lot of resonance here among yes. folks, uh, a fairly young crowd here today, we should yes. say, and a lot of Tea Party supporters as well, particularly yes. people who appreciate your uh, plan for a fair tax, abolish the income tax uh, code and the IRS. Let me ask yes. you this question. Sure. You, you did bring this up. You're a political novice. You yes. say that works in your favor. You say not knowing Washington is an asset. Though many people would say, right. you don't know Washington, right. you can't get anything done. Right. And, and the aspect of foreign policy, too. People point to your lack of experience right. in foreign policy. You had an answer for that this afternoon. Yes. Directed toward Israel and yes. the president's position that Israel has to withdraw within pre-1967 borders and the conditions of peace. Right. I don't agree with that decision or that recommendation. Number one, it's up to Israel to decide what borders they want to give up in negotiating peace between those two countries. And number two, that was 44 years ago. And I think that it was, quite frankly, very arrogant on the part of the president to make that statement before he talked to Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Yeah. You don't do that, in my opinion. No. That's the thirdly, it's up to Israel to, to decide on that. And so I thought that that was mistimed, number one. Now, relative to being a novice and not having run for a public office before, that's right. I wear it as a badge of honor. You see, I don't worry about not knowing how Washington works because as president, it's my job to change Washington, D.C. If I knew how Washington worked, I'd know how to drive up the national debt for $14 trillion. I don't want to learn how to do that. I want to change Washington. Everybody who runs the presidency is Washington. Very few of them have really been able to accomplish much. Well, that's because Herman Cain hadn't been president yet. <laughs> My pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. The campaign Thanks a lot, John. Con confidence yeah. not an issue with Mr. Chang. <laughs> 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 Herman, thanks, thanks so John. Much. Appreciate it. Now help me down. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe now that the candidate will come to you. Don't bring Briar, okay? Thanks, guys. Thanks for being here. I'm from Henry County. Thanks for coming out. Love you. Thank you for coming out. Good to see you. Thank you coming out. You got it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Appreciate it. God bless. God bless. Hey, good to see you, buddy. Thanks, Scott. Yeah. That's my ship. All right. Thank you, sir. Good luck, Mr. King. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. Thank you. Yeah, just back up, man. Sorry. That's okay, man.